Maritime aeration fractures the soil, creating channels through the root zone that allow water, oxygen, and other critical nutrients to penetrate deep into the soil profile. There are seven Procore SR models, but the operation is essentially the same for all models. As with any powered turf equipment, it is extremely important that you operate the equipment properly and safely. This program provides important information you need to know to operate the Procore SR series, but is not a substitute for a thorough reading of the operator's manual. The manual is stored on the front of the aerator. It includes detailed instructions on safety, operation, and maintenance. Safety and instruction labels or decals are located at key points on the equipment. Look for these decals and obey them. Some important labels on the Procore SR models include the alert symbol. This indicates a potential hazard. Read the operator's manual to understand the hazard and how to avoid it. All operators should be trained before operating this piece of machinery. Rotating driveline hazard. Always use extreme caution and avoid becoming entangled in the drive line. Also called the power takeoff or PTO that sends power from the tractor to the aerator. Entanglement hazard chain. Stay away from moving parts and chains and keep all guards in place. Crushing hazard of hands and feet. Keep bystanders a safe distance from the machine. Crushing hazard of hands and body. Always use stands when the aerator is not in use or being serviced. Other labels and decals point out additional safety warnings. The PTO system on a tractor can be extremely dangerous. Always make sure that the guard system on the PTO is in place and never approach the PTO shaft when it is in motion or use. If the guard comes off or becomes loose, disengage the PTO system and report it to your maintenance supervisor. Always disengage the PTO and stop the tractor engine before approaching the PTO shaft. Proper clothing and protective gear help keep you safe during operation. Avoid any loose-fitting clothing that could get caught in moving parts. Wear substantial leather shoes or work boots. Safety glasses and hearing protection are always a good idea and may be required. Make sure you check local ordinances, insurance, and facility regulations for proper protective gear. Personal headphones do not provide hearing protection and can distract you from safely operating the equipment you should never use headphones. You need to be alert and aware during operation of any powered equipment. Never operate the equipment when you are drowsy or possibly affected by prescription medications, alcohol, or drugs. Pay close attention so you can operate the aerator safely and not injure yourself or damage the machine or turf.
All of the Procore SR series models are tractor mounted using a three point mounting system for control and maneuvering. All models use the tractor's PTO or power takeoff drive to operate the aerator. Make sure that you know and understand all the controls and functions of the tractor that you will be using with the Procore SR series aerators. The SR48, SR54, SR70, SR72, and SR75 models are a single roller design. These models allow the aerator to operate on one roller. The SR54S and the SR70S models use a dual roller design. The dual roller allows improved ground following on undulations and distributes the weight of the aerator over two rollers. It is important to select the appropriate tractor for each unit to provide proper lift capacity and power from the power takeoff. Refer to the Procore SR Series Operator's Manual, the Tractor Operator's Manual, and your supervisor to ensure the tractor is appropriate for the aerator model you are using. Mounting the aerator to the rear of the tractor will decrease the weight on the tractor front axle. To ensure adequate steering control and stability, it may be necessary to also add ballast to the front of the tractor. Refer to the Tractor Operator's Manual for ballast requirements. The aerator should be connected to the tractor by your maintenance staff using the components and procedures indicated in the Procore SR Series Operator's Manual. The aerator is connected to the tractor at three points. Two link arms that lift the aerator off the ground. A hydraulic top link or spring-loaded top link. And the power takeoff that provides power to the aerator. Before use, check each of the connection points for secure connection. The aerator is designed to align the power takeoff connection on the aerator with the shaft on the tractor. With the engine off and power takeoff disengaged, check that the PTO is properly connected and the guard is securely in place. Check to ensure that the chain system is secured and in place on the PTO system. The maximum angle on the PTO shaft is 35 degrees. Check the hitch joints to ensure the U-joint is connected properly to the hitch and the linchpin is in place. Ensure that the hydraulic cylinder is properly connected. If you suspect a hydraulic leak, use a piece of cardboard, not your hand, to find the leak. Hydraulic fluid escaping under pressure can penetrate the skin and cause serious injury. Proper height can be adjusted by moving the lift arms and hydraulic connection up or down on the brackets. This should be done by your service team prior to operation. Visually inspect the aerator from the rear to ensure the unit is level side to side before lowering the unit on the turf. If any of the connections or adjustments appears to be out of order, report the problem to your service area before use. Tine heads come standard with the Procore SR series to ensure proper fit with multiple tine configurations and different sizes of tines. 
A wide selection of solid and coring tines can be used with the Procore SR Series deep tine aerators. Deep tines have diameters of up to one inch or two and a half centimeters and tine lengths of up to 16 inches or 40 centimeters. To install tines, make certain the tractor is off and the aerator is fully supported on the ground by blocks or jack stands. Always install solid tines with the tine angle facing the tractor and install coring tines with the core ejection window facing the rear away from the tractor. Ensure all tines are secure in the tine heads. Tine type and pattern will be selected by your supervisor. Make sure you know what type of tine is installed. It may affect the way you will operate the aerator on the turf that you are aerating. Procore SR series aerators can also use optional adapter heads and sleeves that allow use with smaller tines, spacing, and multiple row applications often found on greens and tees. Traditional reciprocating aerator tines enter and exit the ground vertically. Deep tine aerators enter the ground and then heave or fracture the soil before exiting the turf. This relieves compaction of the soil below the cultivation pan and creates channels in the root zone. Each tine length has a recommended camber adjustment setting. Adjust the camber settings to the recommended position. Additional adjustments may need to be made depending on the application and desired results. Refer to the operator's manual and your supervisor for tine and camber bracket adjustments. For the single roller SR48, SR54, SR70, SR72, and SR75 model aerators, the standard hydraulic cylinder increases or decreases the time depth. You can adjust the time depth right from the operator's seat by extending or retracting the hydraulic cylinder. For the dual roller SR54S and the SR70S model aerators, the time depth holes on the side bracket adjust the time depth. On the dual roller aerators, time depth is fixed depending on the setting you choose. Before using the aerator, practice operating in a clear area under qualified supervision. Practice starting stopping, lowering, and lifting the aerator. Practice engaging and disengaging the PTO system and increasing and decreasing the time depth. Pick the correct tractor forward speed for proper hole spacing. Make sure you are familiar with the tractor you will be aerating with and are properly trained on its operation. You should carry extra tines, spring wires, and tools with you to the job site to replace damaged tines and springs. Notify your service team to do any replacement or repair at the job site. After checking the aerator for proper connection and setup, inspect and prepare the site to be aerated. Deep tines penetrate up to 16 inches in depth, 
So careful marking of permanent underground systems like irrigation lines, electrical cables, sprinkler heads, and moisture sensors is extremely important. Locate and flag these items to avoid contact during aeration. Also, look for anything that could damage the tines or aerator, such as rocks or other removable objects. The best results are obtained after a rain or when turf has been watered the previous day. Always plan your aeration path and desired depth before lowering the aerator. In a stationary position, lower the aerator to about a foot off the ground, high enough so the tines are not touching the ground. Start moving the tractor forward and gauge the PTO and lower the aerator onto the ground. Adjust your RPM and then adjust your time depth as needed. Extend hydraulic cylinder to the desired depth. The time depth is predetermined before operation on dual roller models. Your forward speed should be between 0 0.8 and 2.5 miles per hour or 1.3 to 4.0 kilometers per hour. The power takeoff should be between 400 and 500 RPM. When you have completed an aeration swath, raise the aerator up and then immediately turn off the PTO. Never run the PTO out of the ground for more than a few seconds. When aerating, all turns should be gradual so you don't tear up the turf. Never make sharp turns with the aeration head lowered. If bystanders enter the area that you are aerating, lift the aerator and shut the PTO system down until the area is clear. It's a good idea to frequently look behind you to ensure the machine is operating properly and the alignment is maintained from the previous pass. If something gets stuck in the aerator during operation or you hit an underground object, immediately lift the aerator, disengage the PTO, and move off the turf. Shut off the tractor engine, engage the parking brake, and remove the foreign object with a stick or other tool. Never use your hand. Report struck objects to your supervisor to have the aerator checked over before proceeding on the job. If anything sounds or feels different, or smells unusual during use, bring it to the attention of your maintenance supervisor immediately. Remember that accidents can happen to anyone. Always operate the aerator following its instructions. Take your time and be watchful for uneven terrain or objects that could cause equipment damage or injury to you or others. After use, clean the Procore aerator and thoroughly wash the machine using low water pressure. After cleaning, place the unit on blocks or jack stands and inspect for damage to tines and tine wear. This is a good time to replace worn tines and check for loose clamp bolts on each tine head. Always remove the tines when the aerator will not be in use for a period of time and before you store the machine. 
removing and oiling the tines will help prevent rusting. Store the unit on its stand when not in use. When storing the machine for longer periods of time, loosen the bolts on the clutch. Refer to the Procore SR Series Operator's Manual for complete storage instructions. Use common sense and please read the Operator's Manual. This program is not a substitute. If you have any questions on operation of the Toro Procore SR Series aerators, contact your supervisor or Toro representative. Following proper procedures and aerator operation will provide you with a good final result safely and efficiently.